Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing, in case you couldn't tell, um, my Ipsy and this camera quality. You can see the dust moving across the room. Wow, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I can see that. Also, I'm sorry for any weird lighting. Um, this is actually the same room I usually film in. The window I usually film in front of is actually right there, but it is so bright, it is blinding me. And I tried to put like a curtain over it, and you guys could see like the window like shadow across my face. And I was like, you know, I really don't want that. That's not something that I would want to see in a video. So it's like, yeah, I'm just not going to do that. Um, so I'm sorry for any weird lighting. I really do apologize. But today I have the. November, it's November. November Ipsy bag. And you guys know um, from my last one when I talked about, I will always be honest about the bag because I, I don't know if I mentioned this, I don't think I did. When I'm reviewing an Ipsy bag, I don't consider myself reviewing Ipsy themselves. Yes, um, I do pay for this. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, but the only thing that Ipsy makes in this bag is the bag. So why, I don't understand why YouTubers are like, oh, don't buy Ipsy, don't buy Ipsy. They give you the worst products. Like, they don't, they don't know. Like, they don't, like, you take the test. And so far, they've been spot on. There's only one thing besides the bag in here that I blame Ipsy for, and it's fixable. No big deal. There's a product in here that was a dud for me, and, you know, Ipsy can't say, oh, yeah, you only like this kind of lipstick of this shade, and they might not have that, but they still send you a nice lipstick. Like, it's not Ipsy's fault that they don't have everything you want specifically. So that's just my little two cents on Ipsy. Like, I just don't think it's fair to be mad at Ipsy about something, some things that aren't their fault. Some things are their fault, but I think overall they're a good company, and I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with what they do. I think that what they do is such a great thing. Um... So, I should go, go ahead and get started, and, and like my last video, I went ahead and any small makeup items, I know my last two videos have been hauls, but those have been over clothes, so I only have four other makeup items that are not Ipsy related, so after I get done this, if you don't want to see those, go ahead and click out, or if you only want to see those, go ahead and click to that part, it'll be down there, I'm sure you'll see it, um, but let's go ahead and hop into the Ipsy November bag. Um, their theme... I have this shipped to my boyfriend's house and he, I forgot it there to film today and so he brought it to me but he didn't bring the card or the pink envelope, he just brought this so I don't remember what their theme is this month but if you're on the website you can figure it out or I'm sure you can find one, um, a YouTuber that says something. So the first thing, and this is the dud for me, and it's on a piece of yes, it's this, the Mood Matcher lipstick. Yes, I know exactly what this is. No, I'm not like, oh, I won't wear green lipstick. Like, it's not green lipstick. It's really not. So, first of all, the packaging. Let's just talk about that. Because this is Mood Matcher's fault, not Ipsy's fault. The sticky stuff stays on the lipstick. How classy is that? And sorry about my nails, guys. They're not painted. Um, but I have to work tonight, so I'm not worried about them. So, the Mood Matcher lipstick is basically a li lipstick that comes in several colors. And it stays on. Like, I swatched this yesterday when I got it at, like, 4 o'clock. It stays on. I've showered. I've makeup wiped. It's it's not coming off. Like, that's not even the full intensity. It's just, like, the leftover. But let me show you what this does. So, basically, what Mood Matcher does, and you can go look it up, um, they, it's supposed to, like, match to the, like, I don't, I might be wrong. So, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think the way it works is that you're supposed to pick out a color, like, say, like, blue, red, like, like your emotion, like, what you're feeling that day. So if you're feeling green, that's just how you feel. You pick the green one, you put it on, and it's supposed to match to your skin tone. I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing another product I'm going to be showing in this video because it's not matte. That's the only problem I have with it. I love that it lasts all day. I love the, the color's fine. Like, I probably wouldn't wear it that, that often, but the color's fine, um... I'll just show you, like, watch this work. So I put it on green. I don't know if you can see the green tint to it. Okay. It's about to be completely pink. Like, I need this more on it. And my boyfriend I was telling him about it, he's like, no. And you can see the green in it where it's green. Mm. 
overall, I mean, this is a nice lipstick. I mean, if any, like, anybody else who, like, satin finishes or whatever. Um, let me, it's not working right. Or I'm just not, I'm probably just not giving it enough time. So we'll come back to this product. Um, we'll just talk about a few other products and come back to it. So the next thing that was kind of a dud. Now, this is just because I use gel eyeliner all the time. I don't use this, but, um, they gave me the eyeliner in Wild Child by Be A Bombshell. Now that's really exciting because Be A Bombshell is a good brand. So that's not Ipsy's fault that it's not good for me. Like, they, it's Be A Bombshell's fault. It's not really anybody's fault. But, I don't know if Wild Child is supposed to be black or not. Like, it doesn't really say. It just says Wild Child. So, and, oh, this is a full size. This, I don't think is. It might be, but I doubt it. Um, so, I used it today. Tried to use it today. It used to come to a little point, but it doesn't anymore. Um, and I'll just put it right there. I only use my Tarte gel, gel liner on my lid. That's all I usually use. And usually, um, I don't do a very good job. And I'm sorry for the glare on my glasses. That might help because it's really bothering me. So I'm just going to take them off. Whatever. So it's black. You can tell it's black, but it's almost like a charcoal black. It's not like a black black. Does anyone else feel like I'm going to take my glasses off and change the lighting? It did. I can tell. Just a little bit. It did. So I'm gonna... Sorry, but that glare just... It's crazy. Okay. The glare really does not like me. So, this still has some green in it. You can still see it's not done. Um, I lost my train of thought. The glare bothers me, but that lighting bothers me too. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to deal with it. I don't know. But anyway, so I I tried to tight line with it and it just it wasn't working out for me. But I didn't warm it up on my hand first. So I'm going to try to warm it up on my hand. And I don't put anything in my waterline to help my eyes look bigger. So, I mean, I might pass it on. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. But it's cute. Like, the packaging's matte and I really like that. So, yeah, no. Okay, I'm like blabbering. Next thing here, and this is something I will blame on Ipsy because this is their fault. This is the blending brush I got. Does anyone see a problem with it? But I can fix it. Like, I'll just wash it and lay it the way it's supposed to be. I still used it today, and what else? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I'm on the right track. Okay, I still use it in my crease, and I loved it. Like, if you want something that just goes in your crease, this is a great brush, and this is by um, Crown Brush, and it's their C412 DLX, so deluxe, so it's supposed to be, pointed crease brush, and it's definitely pointed, but it's supposed to be pointed, like, out. So it was still a really good brush, and I still really like it. I like the quality. I think it's great quality. I'll continue to use it. Oh, there's something on my face. Um, but yeah, it's really soft and I I do like it. Like, you know, I just wish it wasn't bad. Like, that's something that was Ipsy's fault, but I'm not complaining. So the next thing in here is this Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer, and this is clearly a trial size. Um, but the only thing that kind of bothers me about those is like you can't like I don't know if you can see, it doesn't ever look closed, it always looks shut or open. Um I use this today, and I can't really tell you how it, you know, is going because, um, I've only used it today. But the only thing is, is I was expecting it to be, like, the Urban Decay, where it's, like, very pigmented, and it's showing up more pigmentation on camera, I feel like. Yeah, it definitely is, because you can't see it that well in person. But, um... Yeah, you can see there. Sorry, I didn't mean to flip your ears off. Um, it's not really that pigmented, but it still did a really good job. So I just put it on with the brush and then smoothed it out with my fingers. And I still think it did a really good job, so I'm really excited about this. 
And then the last thing in here, which, oh my gosh, if Ipsy could not be more on point about getting me mascara, because I'm like, I was out of mascara. I don't even remember what I was using before. I don't remember. But you guys know I love the It Cosmetics one and that I got sent last month. And so I was like really leery because I'm like, oh my gosh, I really love that. I don't really want to stray from it. Like I was going to repurchase it. Um, and then this, they sent me the Smashbox Full Exposure full exposure mascara in jet black and I used it today and I just think it's amazing it's just, I mean the cosmetics one is just as good I still love it I still use it every day but now I have another one and this one like the packaging you it's like well, it's like the trial size and you can still like it's still like heavy so I think that's a sign of really good mascara may not be the best way to go about that but Okay, that's all that I got in this bag. Just something to um, talk to you guys about for just a quick second. If you want to see the rest of products, just go ahead and skip along. Um, sorry this video is so long. It's already 11 minutes. But just to mention the things that I got in the last bag that if you guys are wondering, oh, am I still using it? Am I still liking it? You know, what what is going on with this product? The tweezers I've hardly ever used just because I really don't tweeze my eyebrows, which I should. I should use them. But they're just a good tool to have, like, in general. The... Matte li liquid lipstick from The Balm. I use that all the time. Like, almost every day I use that. I love that. That was such a good hit. Like, kudos to Ipsy because I will go repurchase that in the full size. Um, the It Cosmetics mascara I use every day. I love it. Except for today because I was filming with that one. And I'll use that one every day now, too. Like, interchangeably. Um, the two... The Even Eye Conditioning and the Peter Lamas Pumpkin Scrub... I've just had them sitting in my collection. I haven't really used them since the video and like since before the video trying them. I'm sure they're good products. I'm at the actually get my butt in gear about using them. It's just I put them in my makeup um, stuff so I don't think about it when I'm in the shower to use the conditioner that's in my makeup or the face wash when I'm getting taking my makeup off. I really don't think about it. So I'll try to think about that more. I'll have to, like put a note in my makeup box be like, hey, use those products. Um, and then there are only four other products that, one is a high-end product and the other three are e.l.f. And no, I'm not, like, sponsored by e.l.f. I know I buy them a lot, but it's because I keep running out of products. Oh, let's come back to that lipstick. Yeah, that's what that lipstick looks like. It's not green. There's still green in it, though. Can I just... Yeah. And it's definitely a stain. Like, that's gonna stay there all day. As soon as that dries, it's gonna be a stain, so... I should have brought a makeup wipe. I didn't think about it. So the first thing I got is I have been looking at face primers. I've been using the Benefit Poreless one for a long time, and I really do like it. But I have a birthmark, in case you guys didn't notice that. Um, and so e.l.f. has an adjusting tone primer. And what is the brand that has? I think it's NARS Smash. And I remember, there's another one that I keep trying to attempting to I think it is Smashbox that I keep saying oh I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try that and then I never do so I decided to get an elf one I've tried like the Maybelline one and I don't like it it doesn't do anything um this one you can obviously see that the redness is still there but like acne and stuff around like before I was just using my foundation and you could still see it but like this like I have one right there and you can kind of see it but like I have a ton down here I have them all over here like yeah you can still see them this did a way better job of blurring them and the other thing is is like when you buy this it is not this color green I'll show you it is this color green I was expecting it to be this color and then when it came out like that I was genuinely confused I was like oh I was shocked. I was genuinely shocked. I wasn't confused. I just, just... Anyway. So, it, like, it has a nice consistency. You can see it's going on green. But it does, like, smooth out to clear. Like, it should. Um, and it's, it's actually very nice. I don't know if it's silicone-y. I don't know if I would describe it that way. It's soft. It's very smoothing. So, if that's what silicone-y sounds like to you, then... You can call it silicone, but it's very soft. Um, the next thing I got, and this is because I, if you saw my everyday, 
um, makeup routine, you saw that I use the Maybelline Smoothers and like translucent and as a face powder. Well, I'm out of that completely and so I had to get one. So I just got the e.l.f. translucent mattifying powder because I'm wanting to try the Tarte Amazonian Clay like powder foundation as a powder over my foundation. Um, and I just don't have the money to do that right now. So I got this instead and it's just the translucent powder and then it comes with like a sponge which I kind of wish it would just be a full thing of it instead of the sponge. But this is good because I think it was only like $3. $3? Yes, because this one was 6 So the other things are around both. And I don't actually use this. I was just like testing it. Um, but it's not truly translucent. It does have some color. I don't know if you guys. There you go. Yeah. It does have some color on it. But when it goes on the skin, um, see that? You can see where it's not completely translucent. It definitely has some color to it, which is fine because I'm pale and like it's translucent, so it's not going to be too dark. I thought it's going to be crazy dark. So, yeah, I'm rambling, so I'm going to try to get through this. Um, you see, yeah, and I'm wearing it on my lips right now. It is the e.l.f. matte lip color, um, and it's in T-Rose, which is... This is not an everyday color, in my opinion. Um, I think Jam Beauty 89 has talked about this before. I think I remember this name from her. I don't really know. It might have been another lipstick in this color. It is like a purpley nude. A very light purpley nude. A wearable purpley nude. Um, but... Weird. My lips look uneven. Um... I had to wear this shirt in this video because it's white and it's like I was going to wear a mar maroon shirt but like I can do that because this lip color does not match everything. So if you're wearing black, white, gray, this is cute. It's perfect. It's a nice everyday color for that but if you're going to wear a color, you you can't wear this color. Like you could but I mean that's up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it for you. There it is. And it is matte. You know, I like my matte colors. Um, going back to this, this isn't moving. This lipstick doesn't move. It stays on all day, which is why I haven't tried it on my lips yet, because I'm scared. So I don't want something that I know I'm not going to like on my lips all day. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover it. So I'm pushing really hard. That's not coming off. Okay, and the last thing I got, which was a gift. And I'm very, very grateful for it. My boyfriend got this for me um, about two weeks ago. Um, and I've been using it every day. I used it today. And I'm so grateful. Like, he didn't have to do this at all. And he did. Um, he doesn't have a job. So he just kind of, well, he works for a radio place. And it's like an internship. And he only gets paid if he actually goes and helps, like, film or do something at like something that's not at the studio so like he and he only gets paid twenty five dollars for it and he's not allowed to make more than six hundred dollars a year so didn't really make a lot of money um but he bought me the Lorac Pro matte palette and uh, I have always been in love with the Naked palettes because obviously they're like a cult classic, like everybody has them. This formula, oh my god, it's like giving me chills right now. I love this formula. Now it comes with one, two, three, four, eight, eight colors. This is more white than yellow. I don't know, it's picking up yellow, but it's like white, like white. That's not yellow. It's not. Um, but I don't know. Ooh. There we go, that's that's some good, oh, no, no, okay. I hope you guys can see those very well. That might be better, I don't really know. But it comes with um, mostly mattes and then it has like the darker shades over here and I accidentally just touched that. Um, actually, funny story about this, I dropped this today while I was putting my makeup on and like it like went straight down my arm like this and like got everywhere. But um, the only thing I have to say is this has a lot of dust, like it has a lot of pickup so like you have to be careful. I did use this um, brush on 
my crease in this color because what I'll do is this is like a pink mauve and that's actually what it's called uh, it's pink mauve so I just put this on my lid and this in my crease and it's just like an everyday school look um, so it's not like too crazy but like if I'm going out I will definitely put some of this maroon on or some of the black or like do some of the browns because they're like very pigmented this palette is very pigmented um, and I'm definitely going to be getting the two big palettes because the only thing about this palette is it's great for travel and I have been wearing it by itself but I like shimmery colors on my lids I don't like matte colors on my lids and this video is 20 minutes long holy crap oh my god so I feel, oh my gosh, okay, that's just crazy to me. I don't feel like I've been talking for 20 minutes. Um, but the colors are Bare, Latte, Corduroy, Chocolate, Linen, Pink Mauve, Burgundy, and Jet Black. And so it's Bare, Latte, Corduroy, Chocolate. Um, I'll just swatch some of these. That was really bad. Oh, that was really bad. I apologize for the swatch. Oh my gosh. Did I swatch my finger? Okay. Well, this is Pink Mob and this is Burgundy. I'm not sure what that one is supposed to be. That was a fail. I apologize for that. That's a fail. Ugh. I guess just go to a makeup counter and swatch it or watch another video because I clearly can't swatch that and I have it all over my hand at the moment and I the burgundy one is very pigmented so careful all right I have blabbered far too much in this video and it is now almost 22 minutes long so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this video oh my gosh I might not add products onto next month's video let me know if that's something that you actually enjoy or if you'd like me to quit doing that and just do the ipsy bag because I feel like I make a long enough video out of that, so I'm just gonna go because I make a mess no matter what I do, no matter where I go. Anyway, um, be sure to subscribe, and if you haven't checked out my last video or my last Ipsy, my last one's Ipsy, I'll go ahead and link those down below. I don't think they're as long. I hope they're not as long. Anyway, I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe. Bye.